Hello guys, I'm going to talk to you about the new uh, stack that is going to uh, it is introduced uh, yesterday or the day before that is um, that is Indy Indy Semiconductors is going to merge with uh, uh, with acquisition acquisition um, the, okay, the, 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 the the Thunder Bridge acquisition ticker THBR and if you there is an article here that, that described this um, this semiconductor the indie semiconductor in the the same uh, area as uh, slab silicon laboratories and umbrella ink if you go to the price of these two we go to price of uh, uh, sorry slab it is 120 20 between 120 to 125 and uh, umbrella 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 is between 80 and 90 dollars so we can imagine if this price of the price of this uh, goes high it is ne nearly uh, 900 times uh, bigger than it is new, uh, it is um, at the existing price but you see the price of this uh, just let me see here uh, we had a jump here when they uh, when the news was uh, uh, appeared it went to highest of 1140 and the same as other aspects they just uh, tanked and now today is 1060 and after hours is 1069 okay so uh, I'm going to describe this uh, go more inside uh, inside of the pr uh, investor presentation to find out if it is uh, it is something that uh, we are interested in uh, to uh, to invest in okay we go to that is the investor presentation you see, as a disclaimer, there's some uh, some point I'm going to uh, talk to you about. They are talking about in their uh, disclaimer and in their presentation about a strategic backlog and pipelines. The strategic back backlog means projected future revenues uh, based on existing contracts, uh, contracts setting forth design and pricing terms and historical production trends of our customers. That means something that they uh, they think that in the future uh, that they are going to uh, do business with their the customers and the customers going to get their uh, their products. So all of them are future prediction. And there is something else here that it says uh, it says here that everything that we say here is. Um, assumption concerning future demand and there is no assurance that such future revenues will be obtained actually that reminds me of uh, ICOs when they uh, the initial coin offering that uh, they, they came with really beautiful presentation about their coin how it's going to substitute uh, um, other um, uh, ethereum or bitcoin but after a while they just disappeared I'm not telling that this, this is going to disappear but I'm going to tell you that the, the prediction of the prices is just uh, uh, I think it's exaggerated but uh, we go through it and then we you can look at it yourself as well okay so first of all when we are going to deal with these uh, aspects we are going to find out uh, who are these the people who are running this uh, uh, spec uh, and then these are these people with three years, uh, 30 years of experience, also 30 years pl plus, so they are really experienced in bringing a spec into, um, into, the, into the market. But uh, remember, when the spec is finished, they go away, so you uh, stay with the other people from just, uh, oh, okay, where are they? 
because these people are from uh, Thunder Bridge acquisition and you have to these two guys are from uh, Indy uh, semiconductors so these two uh, stay and these three go away when the merger completed okay they are going to uh, have a next gen generation automotive semiconductor and software platform solving the most complex and demanding challenges two billion plus of a strategic backlog what i described uh, before that is a, pr a prediction in the future and um, proven leadership and trans uh, transaction accelerate uh, roadmap and drive substantial growth and profitability okay so what are they what are they you see here they are working on um, driverless car these two sitting there and the car just drives uh, for itself and they are providing um, um, pieces and uh, parts that needed to achieve these things and they said they are competitive differentiation uh, on parallel semiconductor and software integration with efficient efficient design process superior cap capabilities validated by contracts and presence of uh, on 12 tier 1 12, 12 tier 1 approved uh, vendor lists okay and they are uh, trying to have 58 percent five-year revenue from 2020 to 2025 and 60% aggreg um, aggregate revenue through 2005 uh, already at shipping one stages okay clear path to substantial profitability with 60% gross margin 30% operating margin targets okay they are very big and uh, yeah very uh, nice uh, targets if they can achieve it and this is the growth market growth global market growth and this is the part that uh, in the uh, in um, semiconductor is going to uh, get hold of and there are some uh, more things here about what they are going to do and it's about the growth of them okay just let me see these are the the peers which have the same min, min, uh, more or less the, the same technology and then uh, and then he go here it says that key competitive differentia differentiators is best in class mixed signal soc solution uh, leveraging manufacturing technology and proprietary packaging techniques to drive integration up to cost and innovative product roadmaps reliable and blah 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 sorry okay so uh, we have tier one approved approval quality and purchasing technical integration and uh, discussions okay and then they go to system design ic definition up to six months and after one year and uh, one and a half years done then they begin to develop so uh, nearly two years you you don't expect really anything because in uh, two years they have to develop things okay so if you are going to invest then you have to invest uh, to keep your money there for a long time maybe they have the boost in the beginning but uh, after that is going to uh, go down then you have to keep it in your uh, account so for a long time so these are the parts of things that they are uh, they are managing and you okay go through this and uh, this is something uh, strange because you see uh, the person who has made uh, this presentation he has done very beautiful job of it only here you see it, it parks itself I, I don't I don't understand because if you look at the keyboard yeah. on your your laptop your computer uh, the distance between R and H they are in two different uh, rows so 
how someone some can make this mistake I don't know but uh, just for fun have a look at it okay this is the integration of these uh, 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 different models and then uh, they have yes the, in, the, in the electrification the pipeline charging controllers the diagnostic solutions we're going to go work with it later on and you see there are some uh, the autonomous AD, uh, ADAS con con connectivity with other uh, cars and user experiences and then ele electrification these are the things that they are working on okay and then go to there are different phases phase one 2021 phase two so between phase one and phase two the two years two years then uh, as i earlier on showed you to develop the, the products and this is the uh, total management team i uh, look at them they are really experienced people i hope that they can manage in the competitive market that they are working at this moment and this is the head office i've got uh, just a moment i'm going to show you the head office Test, test here. Where is it? Okay, I haven't got it. I haven't got it here. I had it there. Okay, the head office uh, was was beautiful uh, building in uh, in uh, California. Okay, and they have different places in Germany. They have in Scotland and in 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 China, Shanghai, Shanghai. Shanghai China and in Taiwan okay okay they, they are as I said projected 85% compound annual growth from 20 to 20 to 25 and 25 and 60% have aggregated revenue we had this one before if you go to I'm going to go to their uh, financials you see here they have in in uh, 2019 they, they had 23 million revenue and in 2020 they had the same amount of revenue but they had here operational expenses 25 and here had they had 27 so they have more expenses uh, that is the reason why they have the same amount of uh, revenue but it is really strange because they are going to increase this one and while increase this one this one increases as well so uh, it is very optimistic in my point of view okay and this was the uh, this was the review of this uh, this, this spec I hope you can uh, just uh, make your decision if you want to um, to invest. I'm not going to invest at this uh, at this moment because I'm not really confident about the projection that they have in their growth. Okay. I hope you like this video. Please share this video, thumbs up, and subscribe because I'm new here and I need your help in order to be able to make more of this in-depth uh, review of these products it is expect to come to the market and i hope that you enjoy it um i talk to you in the next video bye